Are you ready to try this Hawaiian style burger? It's gonna blow your socks off, packed with flavor. All right, the first thing we wanna to do to get our grill fired up, you can see I've got my, my dividers in here. I'm gonna dump a little charcoal in here. Now I've already put a tumbleweed in the bottom here to make it easy to light. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of our super size Royal Oak briquettes dumped in our Weber. Let's go ahead and get it filled up. Now we're just cooking some burgers, so we know we're not gonna to try to overload it on charcoal. That's probably honestly a little more than we need. Once our charcoal catches fire good, we can spread our baskets out and get ready to grill our burgers. The first thing we wanna to do to get started on her Hawaiian style burger is honestly take these half pound, this is half pork and half beef. I found it at Kroger in a pack already. It was in a two pound pack. I divided it by fours to give me half pound patties. There's gonna be big, juicy burgers. Now, since I've got it divided in half pounders, I'm just gonna literally pat it out just to a certain thickness here. All right, and I'm gonna lay it over here on my butcher paper. Get them all patted out. We're gonna get some seasoning on them and get them ready to go on the grill. We're gonna make a good glaze up to kind of glaze over these burgers and the pineapple. Now, I'm leaving them kind of thick because I'm almost doing this almost like a steakhouse style burger. I want a big, thick, juicy burger on that brioche bun. This good, thick, grilled onion we're gonna use, this red onion. It should do really good. Now, I'm gonna take off one of these gloves here. Go ahead and discard it. Now, I'm gonna use some of my garlic jalapeno rub and my beef rub for these burgers. You can use whatever rub you want. This is what I'm using today. All right, now I'm gonna come back. A little bit of that beef rub right there. Pat that in a little bit. Now turn that over and repeat the process. All right, once we get that patted in, we're gonna be ready to go on the grill. Now at the same time I'm grilling these burgers, I'm also gonna grill these onions here just to give it a little bit of a grilled flavor. Now I've left them kind of thick. I'm not gonna use this whole onion slice on it but I'm at least gonna get them over here and grill them off. So let's get over to the grill and get ready to grill our burgers. Now you can see we've got our Weber grill set up here. It's running 400 degrees. Now I am running a two zone fire. I've got all my coals on the front side and the back side is gonna be the cool side of the grill. So I'm gonna get these kind of over here on the cool side, start letting them smoke while we finish and kind of clean up some of our other prep over here. And we're gonna keep rolling. All right, now we want to make a little simple sauce and glaze for this burger. So I've got about three tablespoons of brown sugar here. I've got some light soy sauce. I'm going to go in, let me just kind of measure it for good measure here. One, two, three, four, five kind of big heaping tablespoons of soy sauce. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go six. All right. So about six tablespoons of soy sauce, three tablespoons of brown sugar. Let's get a little bit of minced garlic here. Let's go in with a good heaping tablespoon of minced garlic. And so I am cheating today, already using, already chopped up minced garlic. And so this little bit of garlicky, sweet, sticky glaze, we're gonna get over here on of our grill and let it start reducing a little bit and just heating up. And we're gonna kinda of gently brush this on the burgers once we flip them while we're grilling them. It'll give a good char and a good sweet garlicky note, what I'm looking for. All right, our burgers have been on about five minutes, kinda of smoking here. You see they're starting to sweat a little bit. And so I'm gonna take this thick sliced red onion I got, kinda of lay it on the fire here, get that kinda of grilled off. I'm gonna get ready to flip those burgers in a minute when the onion get, gets done. I'm gonna then turn around and flip the burgers over here on the hot side to kind of start searing them off. Once we get the onion done, and we'll start basting them with that brown sugar soy garlic sauce. I know this is gonna be good. All right, now I'm gonna get in here and flip these onions. Just trying to put a little bit of color on them, not much. 
Go ahead and get them moved over here. And let's put some pineapple down. Now, while I'm in here, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the burgers over. They've got a good enough sweat. I know they're starting to form up. We're gonna get a crust on them over here. Let's get the grill lid shut. And give it another few minutes. We'll be back. All right, we've got a few tablespoons of mayo. I'm using blue paint mayo. You can use whatever you like. I'm gonna use a little bit of sriracha in here. I want a little bit of heat, okay, with this sandwich. So I'm gonna mix it up and taste it. This is just eyeballing this. You can do whatever you like. If you don't like sriracha, don't use it. You can buy something at the store, just kind of whatever you want. That's perfect with me. Just a little bit of tangy twist is all I was looking for. So let's check back on those burgers. All right, we've been grilling our pineapple just a minute or two here. I'm gonna go ahead and get, get some of it turned over. All right, once we get that little bit turned over here, I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to brush a little bit of this, uh, this glaze on some of these pineapples here. That'll help with a little bit of the caramelization of them. Once I get that going on the, get a little bit of caramelization on the other side, I'm gonna flip them over a couple times, baste them, and then just take them off. Then it's gonna be time to move those burgers over. Now I'm gonna, for a little bit of extra flavor, I'm gonna brush these onions and do the same thing. Now, we're just gonna give these a, a good old flip back the other way to kind of set that glaze on them that way. Just real quick. Oh, would you look at that. I love the caramelization that those pineapples have on them. Look at that. Let's stack these bad boys up. All right. I'm gonna get these moved over here to my cutting board. We're gonna get ready to move those burgers. Look at those nice, beautiful caramelized red onions. I know that's gonna be a burst of flavor on these burgers. All right, now it's time to flip these burgers over. Now I know these are not gonna take long here. I'm gonna go ahead and get our glaze kind of brushed on. Now, once we get it brushed on one side, we're gonna go ahead and flip it over and do the other side. All right, since these are a pork and beef blend, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Thermapen to be 100%, but they feel like they're done. And I'm registering 143, 144, so that's when pork's done. So I'm considering this burger to be done. That one's reading about 148, 149. Now I chose Havarti. I think Pepper Jack would be excellent with this recipe. Um, this is just what I had here at the house. Um, cheddar would be good, but I would try to stick with a white creamy cheese, I would think. So Havarti or Munster or something like this or Pepper Jack would be good, but I'm gonna use this Havarti on here. And so let's go ahead and get these double layers on right here. Now I'm gonna get that grill lid shut. Let the smoke clear out of my eyes, and we're gonna get ready to build a burger. All right, while our cheese is melting, let's go ahead and toast up some brioche buns. All right, I think our cheese is melted enough. Look at that. That Havarti melted perfectly over these burgers. All right, let's take them up. All right, the first thing we wanna do to build our burgers, of course, is remove our buns and get some of this sriracha mayo down. Now, I'm a sauce guy. No doubt, in my mind, I'm a sauce guy. So with that being said, I'm a top and bottom bun. And if you don't do it this way, you build a burger how you like. I like to taste the condiments. And this sriracha mayo has got a great flavor to it. Now, to build our burgers, we're gonna keep it simple. Let's go home with a burger. Now, of course, the next step to me would be some good old pineapple rings. And I love the char that these has. It's gonna be incredible. Now, I'm gonna come back with a little bit of this caramelized onion. You can take and just drip it on, however you like, lay it on. Oh yeah, now that is a burger. All right guys, our Hawaiian style burgers are off the grill. So just to recap, I took a 50-50 blend of ground pork and ground beef, patted them out in the half pound patties and kind of smoked them for a minute on our Weber before we grilled them off. The only thing I seasoned them with is garlic jalapeno and beef rub. And then I made up kind of a glazing sauce with minced garlic, brown sugar, and some light soy sauce in it. I kind of brushed the burgers, the pineapples, and the grilled red onions also 
and then I made up a sriracha mayo on a toasted brioche bun. So I know this burger is gonna be good, and I can tell you, this melted Havarti cheese right over the top of it, look at that burger. That grilled pineapple, red onion, sriracha mayo, you know it's gonna be good. There's not but one thing left to do, and that's get in here and get a bite. So let's try it out. Mm. <laughs> My God, this is incredible. There's so many different layers of flavor to this. Wow. I think I might go back and make the sriracha mayo a little bit more spicy. This is the perfect summer burger while you're out by the pool or just lounging in the backyard soaking up the sun. Be sure to like and subscribe to our page. You can find a link below to all of our products or anything you're looking for. You can always find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Pinterest, and of course, YouTube. I'll see you next week with another video.